JJJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, man, listen. Alright, so we're going to talk about, you know, should you guys learn WordPress in 2017? And I will say yes. Go ahead, learn it. Look on YouTube, go on, on Udemy, uh, take a course on Udemy about WordPress, or you could look online on YouTube if you find something good that, you know, actually suits your style of learning. I would say, yeah, go ahead, man. You know why? Because there's so many small businesses out here. Like, you know, it could be a bakery, it could be a, a restaurant, it could be anything, you know? Any type of business, or even a friend of yours that might want to have a website, you know? But they don't have the money to actually pay for somebody to just go in there and build a full website, you know, from the front end to the back end and, you know, create a custom website. So sometimes just, using WordPress will be enough. You know why? Because it's like, you save yourself the time, you know, with plugins, like, you know, you already have stuff like galleries, or a blog, all that stuff is already built into WordPress. So I would say, yeah, go ahead and learn it, man. Like, there's so many jobs out there that pretty much they ask for experience in WordPress and any type of experience in PHP, because WordPress is actually pretty easy. It, it could probably take you like, I don't know, maybe a week and you could learn WordPress. Of course, like everything else, you have to put in that time to be able to master it. But once you got your hands on it, like it's pretty easy, you're gonna be good, trust me. Just make sure that whoever you work with, you know that how much work you're supposed to do because a lot of times people that uses, um, well, that want you to use WordPress or people that want you to build a, a small website for them, they don't understand the, the time that it takes. So they might say, hey, could you make me just a website with images about my, my blog or whatever? And then they'll be like, oh, but can we add a forum? Oh, and can we add a you know social media thing? And can we keep adding? So next thing you know, you, you have a project that was supposed to take you two, three days. Now it's taking you a week, two weeks. So I, a lot of people are pretty cheap in the sense of like how much they want to pay for a WordPress site, which is also a big problem because you know you might go in there and do work for like three, four days, and the person only wants to pay you $150 or $200, and you're like, wait, what? I just put in so many hours, that don't add up. It's like, what, well, I'm working for $5 an hour now? Make sure you, you have a, a nice scope of the project and you could actually tell the person ahead of time, like, hey, once we write this scope, this is final. This is not gonna be constantly adding to new stuff. Any new things that gets added to the website, basically you gotta pay me for it. Of course, you gotta say it in a nice way, in a way where the person's gonna feel comfortable but at the same time, just be honest and be clear with everybody. Don't, don't do any work for anybody for free and don't bust your ass for two, three dollars. Anyways, man, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Bow. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. If you want to support the channel, just click on the links below and basically click either on the Amazon link or you click on the Udemy link. So whenever you buy an item, basically like a little percent, I think it's like three or four percent, we get it back over here at the channel and we could actually help out other developers. If you didn't know, we actually give 25% of all the earnings to basically all the other developers here that are actually